right, we're gonna get a little uh, Disney themed on this video. I don't know about you, but I get these weird pregnant lady cravings like at midnight. One night I get a call from my boy Yaz. I think it's close to like one o'clock in the morning. He's like, Sue, are you hungry? Come over, I'm here with Mo, his sister, and his sister's cute friends. And I'm like, bro, you had me at are you hungry? Drive to Yaz's house. Me, Yaz, and Mo jump in Yaz's car. Mo's sister and her friends jump in their car, and we both drive to Jerry's Deli in Studio City. This place is open super late. So we sit down in this big half circle booth. So the guys are on one side with our backs facing kind of like the door, and the girls are on the other side. And then I see one of Mo's sister's friends' eyes turn into golf balls, and she goes, <gasps> and I'm like, what? That is so and so and so! Who is so and so and so? She's on that TV show with Selena Gomez. I'm just like, is Selena Gomez with him? So all the girls are there getting like flustered. 15 minutes later, one of the guys from the Disney Kids entourage walks over to our table. He looks down at us and he's like, Right, ladies, we seem to have a bit of a problem. We've ordered too much food, so would one of you lovely ladies like to come over and see if you can help us? Basically, he was saying, I don't know if you've noticed who's over here, but you need to come and look. Now, I heard him say ladies twice. That was the invitation for the girls. Slightly disrespectful because for all they know, those are our girlfriends. So the girls get up and they walk over to his table. Guess what? I go too. They weren't lying. They did order a bunch of food and his whole entourage there, but the Disney star is sitting right in the middle and he's there kind of like, so the British guy decides he's gonna introduce everybody just in case we haven't figured out what's going on. This is my friend Harry, this is my friend Max, and this is my friend. So I do my quick buffet run on their table. But anytime I hear free food, I'm there just like, mm, yes, yes, yes. And the conversation starts getting painfully awkward. So I just walk away. I go back down and sit down with Yaz and Mo. And Mo's like, yo, is it really the guy from the TV show? And I'm like, oh no, oh yeah, that's him. It's him. The girls are over there for like a hot minute. Each minute that passes, Mo is getting more and more irritated. Let me just do a quick PSA. If you know an Arab girl, never ever upset her brother. Ever. I met this one Arab girl in the valley. I had to act like I didn't know her for an entire year until I met her brother. No tagging her on pictures, nothing. Once I met her brother and her brother okayed me, then I could start acting like she existed. A few more minutes goes by, Mo is not happy. He's like, forget it, I'm going over there. As he goes to stand up, his sister and her friends come back and sit down. Pay our bill, we get up, we leave. Me, Yaz, and Mo walk to Yaz's car, the girls walk to their car. Yaz starts the car, and then I hear, yo, what the F? What the F? Opens the door and then slams it. I look over, the Disney star is leaning in the girls' windows, passenger side, just like this, talking to him. Mo is beelining over to them. I do what any of you guys would do in this situation. I pull out my phone and I start videotaping all of this. And I actually would include this footage right here, but when I update it to my new phone, guess what footage I lost. Granted, there's like five dudes in Disney Star's entourage, but they're like skinny British boys. So I'm not really concerned for Mo, I'm more concerned for them. Nameless Disney Star gets a little bit shook, so he runs to his SUV. Mo looks at his sister, he's like, go home now, go. Mo comes back to the car and he gets in. We watch the Disney Star's SUV start and leave the parking lot. So then we leave. We go about two blocks and then Yaz busts a Yui and goes back with his lights off. As we creep around the corner, we see SUV parked next to the girl's car. This time, it's not the Disney star talking to the girls, it's the British guy that came over to the table the first time. He's the one leaning over in the window talking to the girls now. SUV starts up, they drive off, and then the girls drive off, and they start following them. Me, Yaz, and Mo, we watch a lot of movies. We know how to follow people. You do at least two car lengths behind. Then Mo pulls out his phone and calls his sister, and he is like, yo, where are you right now? Oh, uh, I'm just driving home. But no. Exactly, where are you right now? We're on the freeway. They weren't on the freeway. Okay, all right, uh, call me when you get home. So now Yaz and Mo are talking, and for what I'm gathering, whenever we stop, both of them are gonna jump out and just go to town on these guys. So the girls are following the SUV, and all of a sudden the SUV busts a left, and the girls bust a right, 
and they pull into Ralph's. Yaz parks on the opposite side of the street next to a meter. So now we have a clear view of the girl's cars parked at Ralph's. So then Mo calls his sister again like, where are you? I told you, I'm on my way home, I'm almost there. Be honest, where are you for real? Okay, fine. The Disney guy gave us his phone number and we were following him back to his house and he called us and he just started getting real weird about it. He was like, no cell phones in my house. Park your car at the bottom of the street and then get in our car and go up and we can't look to see where he lives. So because he was getting all weird, we we're just like, whatever, we'll just, we'll just pass. And Nameless Disney Star, if you ever come across this video, now you know it's probably good that the girls ended up not coming back to your house. Cause this dude came this close. I just got a package from a secret admirer. I don't, guys, you can't be doing this kind of, I, I have a suspicion as to who it is, but honestly, it could, I don't, I don't know. 